question eight then from the 2022 higher maths paper one four mark question solve this equation involving logarithms now this time it does matter that it says x is greater than zero because you're finding a solution and they'll have to fit this description here and that's there because you can't get the logarithm of a negative number and you can't get the logarithm of zero that's all shown in its graph the graph looks like this approximately it never reaches that y-axis, x never reaches zero, and it's certainly never in the negative half. Well, the first step's going to be simplify this. You want rid of those logarithms. So use that rule that says if you're adding them, they can combine into a single logarithm of the product. So of x times x plus five. Maybe we'll just pop that in another bracket unnecessarily. Now, doing that, using that law of logarithms, gets you the first mark. Now, how are you going to get rid of that? Because you don't want those logs floating about here. You just want an ordinary equation to solve. Well, it's quite simple. Use the inverse. Just as if I said sine, you'd go inverse sine. If something's multiplying, you go divide. The inverse of the logarithm base 6 is 6 to the power the inverse of logarithm is the exponential. Now doing that gets a mark. Now at this point, there is another way you could go through this. Up here, since you've got a logarithm is equal to something, you could turn that something itself into something worse. Turn it into a logarithm. Because that will be the logarithm to base 6 of something. Remember, logarithm base 6 says, what power of 6 gives this thing? Well, what power of 6 gives 2? Well, that's obviously 6 squared. So you could write log base 6 of this is log base 6 of that. And since the logarithm is a function, which means that there's only one answer depending on what you put in, if that logarithm is the same as that logarithm, that means whatever you've put in there is the same as whatever you've put in there, and then you arrive at the same line again. So you can get that by doing either of the things, using the inverse or rewriting that as a log. It's easier just to use the inverse because it just flies away by itself. Now you just spell that out. x squared plus 5x, that's 36, minus 36 equals 0. Doing that gets a mark. No, you've got to solve it. Well, obviously it's x times x, and you've got multiply to give 36 with a difference of 5. That's 4 and 9. So it must be plus the 9 minus the 4. Now, you have to be careful though. There are two answers to this quadratic equation. There's x equals 4, and there's x equals negative 9. But x has to be greater than 0, which means there's only one solution to this equation. And that's x equals 4, as x has to be greater than 0. There you get the mark.